In this video, I will show you how you can create different surfaces, NURBS surfaces, and also solids using other surface creation tools. Now, in the previous video, we saw many of the simplest, like extrusion, and also creating simple planes, and also something a little bit more complex with the curves to create all these different here and also the loft which is a pretty complex one now in this video we're gonna see how we can use the sweeps and I've created some examples here just to show you that you can use Rhino not only for uh, uh, architecture but you can use it for product design you can use it for industrial design you can use it for jewelry if you want to create a ring or uh, some jewel or whatever so it's a pretty versatile application now let's get started Let's begin with, with the first tool, which will be the Ribbon Offset. Now, we already talked about the Ribbon. Now, Ribbon Offset is pretty similar. So, uh, I will now delete this shape and let's create a new one with you. So, this could be useful if you want to create like the basic for uh, a logo or like graphic design, but also with uh, something that looks like a Ribbon, basically. So, for example, here I can create a star, and then there you go. I can work a little bit here with the points. Try to move it, move them around. Try to create something like a logo, but this is again just an example. Okay, and now this is all planner. So let's use the ribbon offset. Okay, and you can see that it's creating already here this uh, surface. Now, this is because you, you have to select here if you want to do sweep to or mixed sweep. So, network surfaces. Okay, if you don't do anything, if you just create the offset, that's going to be real similar to the standard offset. But here you can use also this... Uh, radius blend and offset distance and also you can rebuild curves using more points or less points so it's gonna be like more uh, defined or more loose like this okay so if I create a surface like this which again could be easily a logo then I can create a planar surface like we did in previous video this is gonna be real clean and nice to look at and just remember that these lines won't appear in a rendering so don't worry about the construction lines now what if I want to do this in 3d so okay let's start to move around this point so I will go here start to select points well, this is uh, front view, let's go to the right view and let's start to select and move points holding shift okay let's say that now this is my idea now if I do a again the ribbon offset okay now I cannot close this with the planner so when you have more complex situation you need to use more complex tools like the sweeps that we're gonna see later and this one here so in this case you we need to when you create the offset just say okay use the mix sweep and it's going to create everything okay now let's move to the next one here now this is like a picture frame and you can create this with the one rail sweep. So to do this you can just go, go to the top view. So let's change this to top view. Okay. Now I've created this, it's just a rectangle. And then I switch the view. So just create a rectangle here, really easy. And then 
you must go in the correct view which is in this case the front view right there now you can design any type of um, profile here so and any type also of shape that you want to extrude so what we are doing here is basically extruding this section using this path now yes could be similar to the extrude along curve but this one here is a little bit more complex and also versatile you can do many different things with this i'm just going to show you the basic concept so i delete this and i start to recreate it with you so you can use polyline you can use uh, simple lines you can use anything you feel more comfortable with you can use curves now for this side I'm gonna go straight here and then I'm going to go up then up again and then I'm gonna go here and then here here so you can basically do whatever you want and let's close this now if it's closed when you're going to create the sweep it's gonna create a solid otherwise it's gonna create an open poly surface so this depends on what you want to do. You can close it also later. Now, the position here sometimes could be important, sometimes less important. Now let's leave it here and let's see what happens. So I'm going to use this one and just create. Well, first of all, let's turn on record history because when you turn on record history, you can then go back to the original shape modify the shape and then you can modify all the, the frame so turn record if history on and then you can go here and start your sweep so one rail sweep this is your rail this is my the shape and press enter now all you need to say is the direction let's press enter again and again you can see here that is not coming as it, it was supposed to. So be careful that you place it in a position that in order to understand the correct direction. Okay, that could be good. So again, select rail and select the shape and press enter. Now, when that direction there it's uh, going upward it's showing you the seam now the seam it's the can go upward can go downward it doesn't change much now let's change here the perspective view in rendered so you can see the actual result in 3d like rendered fashion and that's the line there